All right, this week we're on top of a bus, <laughs> not my bus, Jeremy's bus. We are putting uh, four commercial size panels using Unirac on a... What kind of bus? Shuttle bus? Shuttle bus. Shuttle bus. Stick around and uh, we'll show you what we're doing. All right, over in the corner over there, we got four commercial size panels we're gonna be putting up on here. He uh, took off six 100 watt panels and uh, we're getting the Unirac installed here. He uh, also went through the trouble of putting a fresh coat of Henry's Tropicool on here. It looks great because these are bifacial panels. So that's going to help out. Got the mini split in the back. We're doing a bunch of other stuff down in the bay as well, but uh, yeah, we're using these. Uh, well, we got one here, I guess, installed a couple of them. These feet that are pretty cool. They pretty much seal themselves on there. We'll probably put some decor all the way around them just to be safe. Uh, but this Unirac is really nice. I'd like to do it more and more. I'd like to even try it on so just some normal RVs as well. Because then you can get over the little vents and stuff, maybe. On that one, I used Unirac. Or not Unirac, sorry. Uh, Unistrut. If I was doing it today, I don't know actually which I'd use. But this is super light and I like it. But Jeremy's paying me to do get this done today. So we better get back to work. <laughs> yeah. All right, Jeremy here. He... uh did me the pleasure of he took care of putting die core around all these feet here did a great job he better this is his rig <laughs> but uh this is a close-up what these feet look like really like i said uh when we did those cabin projects up in ely i'm really liking this hardware uh it's just it's almost like it was made for solar really because it was <laughs> <laughs> jeremy got that Come on, some of you slower on YouTube, you're, you're, you're still not sure what we're laughing about. Okay. Boy, this Unirac is really good. Jeremy's taking care of these. No one's paying me, I'm just standing around and watching. <laughs> uh, so yeah, we got the panels up here, it's looking good. Uh, we got some tidying up to do on the wires and whatnot still, but we're about ready to go in and get some power going to the batteries. Yeah, buddy. Still got some sunlight. We got to make it happen. Last day working on the Destiny bus here. We got the uh, solar up there, as you can see, and uh, we're just adding a uh, fuse down in the battery compartment and a shunt because they were living off of battery voltage to determine state of charge, which isn't really great with uh, lithium, but they were making it work. However, uh, Jeremy's lucky enough to be doing the work because he's got smaller forearms than I do. <laughs> and it's tight in here. Yeah, so it's pretty tight in there, huh? Yeah. What was I thinking when I put this together? I don't know. Try to make use of every inch, right? Yep. It's got the four Battleborn batteries in there. Put together pretty well. Uh, I think I got it. All right. Thanks. All right, so we just got one more connection to put on the shunt, and then uh, we can power it back on. We're, doing, we're not doing a servo in this one, so it's all VE uh, Bluetooth network is how everything's gonna communicate. But we're already making good solar. We'll take a look here in a minute. <laughs> so inside here, let's go over some of the updates and changes we made. Uh, this is where they have uh, everything put in here and we don't have a lot of room. Uh, <clears throat> we ended up going with these uh, DIN rail style breakers in partly just to save space because we didn't really have room for much else. And it's convenient. So we're running the uh, MPPT uh, 150 by 70 chargers into these uh, 125 amp breakers and then the solar into the 32 amp breakers. So that's how we're controlling and protecting those. Uh, we also ended up doing a bus bar system and an upgraded disconnect switch just to keep everything cool. And uh, then we also added a, f a temperature controlled fan just to exhaust air out of here. They already had the venting in here, which looks great, but we just uh, made it work a little bit more or made it work a little bit more better. Then the last thing we're trying to track down right now, other than updating the firmware on here, is it doesn't want to charge fully. It keeps wanting to go into float mode too quickly. And we believe what's going on there is the voltage sense is a little bit off and that does happen. So what we're gonna do is use the vSense inputs here 
to give the multi plus a dedicated voltage sense because sometimes the voltage here can be different than by the time it hits the bus bars or uh, the, uh, the eventual batteries. So that's what we're gonna do next. It ended up not being the V sense on the multi plus, but an issue with the VE bus Bluetooth smart dongle. Sometimes that will show a higher voltage reading and throw things off. So that's something to we'll look out for. Good. I'm putting Jeremy to work again. <laughs> I like doing work. We're uh, just doing a little repositioning on these twin uh, 150 by 70 controllers. This position was chosen for it's uh, good ventilation and uh, that's about the only place it could fit. <laughs> that was really the answer. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh. You guys got a great place here. Thank you. you put together. We tried hard. It's yeah. our first build, but yeah, came out pretty good. All right. Well, uh, I don't know. I don't think we got a whole lot left to do. No? Well, from all of us here at Soda Solar, we had a great time doing this project. And uh, if you need help on your uh, DIY build, bus, RV, whatever you got, check us out at sodasolar.com. Uh, or leave a comment on the channel, whatever. Thanks. Bye.